We will do whatever is necessary to support our friend and ally Belgium in bringing to justice those who are responsible. And this is yet another reminder that the world must unite. President Obama, he spent a total of 51 seconds addressing his response to the terror attacks in Belgium during his state visit to Cuba. You saw 12 of those seconds right there, the verbal tranquilizer about the world uh, uniting. Uh, A lot of questions about our current commander in chief and about those who hope to replace him, especially on this day where there are political contests in Arizona and in Utah, and of course the terror attacks earlier today in Europe. Let's talk about it now with two guests who know whereof they speak. First of all, retired U.S. Army Colonel who served in Iraq, Russia, and at the United Nations, Patrick Murray. And he joins us from Newsmax Washington, also Skyping in from the nation's capital, former CIA analyst Fred Flights, who's the senior vice president for policy and programs at the Center for Security Policy. And for purposes of full disclosure, we should also let you know he's a foreign policy advisor to Ted Cruz. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. And Fred, let's look at the conditions before what happened earlier today in Europe. The threat level at Belgium at the highest level, authorities there cracking down. They uh, they picked up the Paris attack mastermind Saleh Abdel Salam, what, four days ago. Uh, there is some concern that leaking information about um, Abdus Salam talking to authorities may have prompted uh, the attack today. Do you put any credence in that scenario? No, I don't see it that way, but I do think that there was an intelligence failure here. I think we need to find out what Belgian authorities knew, uh, how the terrorists were hiding their tracks. We know that Belgian security and intelligence is woefully inept. The, Belgium is basically a divided state because of the, the linguistic battle between the French and the Dutch speakers. Uh, the get along and it's provided an opportunity for Islamists to carve out a safe haven in the heart of Europe. In the heart of Europe and in fact, Colonel, in the heart of Brussels. As we understand it, the enclave uh, that has so many Islamic immigrants there in Belgium As I understand it, when they finally got their hands on uh, the Paris mastermind, he was like only four doors down from where his parents lived. How much cooperation, you know, the politically correct version of these things is there are only a few bad people and everybody else is law abiding. Uh, Is that really a realistic scenario or is that entire community there in Brussels uh, up to their earlobes and helping terrorists? Well, good evening, J.D. That's exactly right. There's about 25 percent of the population in Brussels now uh, is that population uh, Muslims, and a huge percentage of them have gone to Syria. They came back. They are not assimilating. They are not happy. They want to kill infidels, and, and, and if they don't want to do that, then they protect those who do, and that's exactly what we saw uh, with the rest of the with the arrest of this terrorist mastermind from uh, from the attacks in Paris, and now today accelerated in Brussels. Fred Flights, we pointed out your affiliation as a foreign policy advisor to the campaign of Senator Ted Cruz. Senator Cruz stepped out to make a public statement today in response to the terror attacks. Let's take a look and listen to what Ted Cruz had to say. In the wake of Brussels. We don't need another lecture from President Obama on Islamophobia. We need a commander-in-chief who does everything necessary to defeat the enemy. And we need to immediately halt the president's ill-advised plan to bring in tens of thousands of Syrian Muslim refugees. Uh, Fred, to the first point the senator makes, None in the Obama administration dare speak its name. Uh, Islamic fascism, Islamic extremism, Islamic terrorism, they stay completely away from that. But from that I word, Islamic, to the other I word, immigration, and the refugees, uh, it sounds like Senator Cruz is very aggressive on this day of these attacks. Senator Cruz gets it. This is a war against an ideology 
that is trying to destroy Western civilization. And seven years into his presidency, more than seven years, Barack Obama still can't say radical Islamist terrorism or radical Islamist or jihadist. And he's trying to bring in 10,000 refugees that will not be properly vetted according to the head of the FBI. This is from Syria. This is why Senator Cruz has said this has to stop. And uh, as you were mentioning this, Fred, we are watching President Obama shake hands with the Tampa Bay Rays as they were down to play the Cuban national team today. Uh, Colonel, the president, our commander in chief, only devoting 51 seconds to this heinous terror attack. Where are the priorities of this administration? Well, we've known for a long time, J.D., where the priorities of this administration are. And it's not about looking at America as the solution to the problems. I believe Obama and this administration sees America as the problem. And, uh, and we don't need a social welfare state. We need secure borders. We need a strong military. We need to stop uh, attacking our police forces and empower them because they are the ones that are going to protect us from all of the, uh, from any kind of Islamic insurgency that comes in. Uh, Fred, back to the intelligence front. Another of the Republican candidates, John Kasich, says we need to go back to cooperating better with intelligence uh, services overseas with our allies. He says that's a key way to solve the problem. At the outset, you talked about Belgian intelligence being woefully inadequate. You talked about the language barrier, almost a culture war between European languages, the Dutch, the French, and yet historically, Brussels was made the headquarters of NATO. Brussels is now the, uh, the capital of the European Parliament. Is it problematic or did Belgium just never keep up with the times and respond properly to uh, the changing face of that nation? Well, I mean, there really is no Belgian. Belgians don't think of them, people Belgium think of themselves as Flemish or Walloon. They don't think of themselves as Belgian. They have, the French and Dutch speakers have not integrated themselves, so it should. Uh, it seems we may be having trouble with Fred Flights and his Skype. Let me see if I still have the good Colonel there at Newsmax, Washington. Colonel, are you with me? Apparently, I'm with you, J.D. Okay, uh, let, me, let me talk to you about this, Patrick, because you are no stranger to intelligence. You worked alongside General David Petraeus. Uh, the, the, the intelligence situation across Europe, do our allies just essentially look to the United States to, quote, fill in the gaps? They have for quite some time, and that's something that Donald Trump just pointed out a couple of days ago. You know, we have 28 members of NATO, J.D., and the requirement is that they provide 2% of their GDP toward their defense uh, budget. Only two of those, United States being one of them, uh, adheres to that policy and the rest of them don't and that includes that includes Belgium and so there are there there are issues surrounding that that we need to address when we come and when we talk about NATO article 5 of NATO says when one country's attacked they're all attacked Brussels Belgium was just attacked our president spent 50 seconds on it uh, talking about it and then went off to a baseball game with a, with a dictator. But nevertheless, yeah. calmer heads need to prevail and we need to uh, step up to our responsibilities. Let me do this. NATO step wide. in. We've reestablished contact with Fred Flights. Fred, uh, 30 seconds for the last word, sir. Well, I mean, this is another example that radical Islam is at war with Western civilization and we really need to double down. Uh, to fight this threat. And I, I think Senator Cruz has some answers to do this and can repair the damage done by President Obama's failure to acknowledge this threat or to fight it during his presidency. Well spoken from a foreign policy advisor to Senator Ted Cruz in this campaign. Fred Flights, we appreciate your insights. Ditto to you, Colonel Patrick Murray. Thank you both gentlemen joining us tonight from Washington. When we come back, more with Betsy McCoy. I'll get a chance to talk to her one-on-one -on -one, and then Dennis Michael Lynch as we continue here on Newsmax TV with our coverage of America Votes 2016. Stay tuned, there's more to come.